on both of these already, yes? Okay, at the top of adding, subtracting polynomials, I want you to write yourself a note. When we are adding and subtracting polynomials, we line them up. We are looking for like terms. And the variables and the exponents do not change. So let's do number one together and number two together because one, one is an addition problem and one is a subtraction. I would like to just do one example of each. If you notice for this paper, there is nothing on the back. I felt that 16 problems was plenty of practice on this, okay? Um, let's rewrite this as 5p minus three. And then what do I have in my second polynomial? 2p squared, that goes with the 5p, and a negative 3p to the third power. I'm going to put that over here and show a plus sign in between them. I'm just rewriting this in the order that gets them into standard form. And this doesn't have a like term, so it's going to just stay negative 3p to the third. If you are not a tiny hand writer, you can do this on another piece of paper. I realize there's not a ton of space in between these. And then I've got 5p squared and 2p squared, so that becomes 7p squared minus 3. So just a quick review, that's how we solve addition problems with polynomials. We just line them up. When we have a subtraction problem, what do we need to do first? We need to distribute the negative and then we can add them. So I'm gonna first write the first polynomial, a to the third minus two a squared. And I'm noticing when I look at the second polynomial, it is not in the right order. My second term goes with the first term here. And this negative 4a to the third power is going to become positive because I'm multiplying it times the negative 1. So I'm going to put 4a to the third power underneath. And this one is going to become what? Negative. negative. And it's a to the second power, so it goes with this term, minus 3a to the second power. And then once I've dealt with that negative, I can just add them together. What's invisible in front of this a to the third? There's an invisible one. So my a to the third becomes 5a to the third. And then we get negative 5a squared. Thumbs up if you feel like you could just practice this now. Excellent. Let's do a couple of multiplying polynomials. I just want to get you started and then you can practice. There are practice problems on the back of this because getting really good at this is really important for what we will be doing when we get back from spring break. So I like to use the box method. And when I look at my first problem, I'm gonna make a single tall box because my first term is gonna go on top. And what's in my parentheses, I'm gonna put down the side. Oh, I'm sorry, thank you. How's that? And we want to remember that the variables do change when we multiply them. Actually, we've got a plan on Friday to show you why they change, but I just want you to know we are adding them together as we multiply. So there's an invisible one here and an invisible one here. In math, we love our invisibles. They're usually ones. Six times two is 12. And then what happens to the V term? It becomes squared. And then I'm going to do 6v times 3, I get 18v. So I'm going to come back and rewrite this. 6, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong part. 12v squared plus 18v. All 
I would like to do one that's got more than one term and two terms. So let's skip down to number seven. When I do number seven, I'm going to need to make a box with four spaces inside because I've got a binomial times a binomial. I'm going to put the x here and the negative three here and 6x here and negative 2 here. What's going to happen up here? We've got 6x times x, so the 6 stays the same, but what happens to the x? It's going to become squared. Negative 2 times x is just going to be negative 2x. Negative, negative 3 times 6x is going to be negative 18x. And then negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. When we do these with um, binomials times binomials, we often end up with like terms, and they are usually diagonal. And I see like terms here. So I get negative 18x and negative 2x is going to become negative 20x. So I'm going to rewrite it using this term, this term, and this term as my answer. So I end up with 6x squared minus 20x plus 6. And today is just going to be a practice day. Are we good with this? Okay. Um, there are some on the back that have trinomials. So that's where we'll end up with a box with six spaces. Okay.